What's up guys? I'm here with my dad today, Brian, and he's only shot, what, one bait? I think one. One yeah. bait in his life, which I believe was a 4.1 inch prey bait. So today we're going to shoot this, the new lizard mold, and that's the new tail mold. You guys probably saw us put that out about a week ago. So we're going to actually shoot these. This will be the second time ever shooting baits. We're going to kind of walk you guys through what we're doing. So if you're new to this, we'll kind of break it down to the simplest form. And I'm going to have him mix the colors and shoot it. It's not really that hard to get into this. Now, mastering this and all the color theory and stuff, that's a whole nother story. But just basic shooting, it's a lot of fun. And it's a great way to go out and catch fish on baits that you made right at home. We're going to start off with the tail mold. So this little guy is four cavity. As you guys know, lizards are are kind of a, one of the key baits in some areas of the country in the springtime so it's an awesome time to show and shoot this new mold so first thing we're gonna get our mold down here get some clamps right here and i'm gonna have him put these on here and he's gonna put one in the middle on one side and on the other side a little bit higher up than center line if you put both the clamps at the top or both at the bottom you're gonna split that mold open and the plastic will rush out the bottom now that we got our clamps on there it's time to shake up our plastisol this is bait plastics 242 which is a medium blend ultra clear plastic you want to mix this normally because then you you don't get all the air bubbles in there when you're shaking we shake it because we can throw in a degasser right here. These are the small Pyrex cups. These are one cup. We're only gonna pour half a cup because we're just gonna shoot the tails on these. But if we wanna shoot multiple tails, at least we'll have a little extra in the cup. We're gonna throw this plastisol, which is cold, into the microwave for uh, one minute to get that up to temperature. You remember, we wanna heat that up past 350 degrees, shoot for 360, 370, even 380. And this is a great time to remember that you're gonna need eye protection, which we have eye protection on. Definitely wear sleeves. I know it's hot in the summer. Maybe you're not going to. At least wear gloves and have adequate uh, ventilation. We have a fan blowing air past us out the door behind the camera so that all those fumes aren't just lingering around us. So this has been in the microwave for a minute. You can see it is starting to separate and kind of get clear. Mix that up with a butter knife and then take the temperature with your left hand. Kind of just shoot down into the plastic there. About 255, 260 degrees, okay. something like that. So we got a ways to go. That's 260, so wipe the knife on the edge and then I'll throw it back in here. What happens if it's not warm enough? He just asked me if what happens if it's not over 350 degrees. Basically what happens is the... A reaction doesn't happen and you'll be stuck with basically a liquid inside of the mold. So when you open it up, you'll be like a gooey, semi-solidified liquid in there. So we have him stir that again and check it. 340, so we're gonna do another 20 seconds because we're almost to 350. And you can burn plastisol. If you hit like probably 410, 420 and above, you will actually burn it, it will turn brown. You need to get the heck away from those fumes. They are really bad for you. All right. Yeah, 378. So now we're just going to throw it in our degassing chamber. If you did not shake your plastic, it's actually degassed from bait plastic. So you, you could actually move forward, but we're going to degass this quick. Woo, good Lord. All right, so that's out of the vacuum chamber. 359. So about 360. That's great. So now the tails of this, we are literally going to make them bright blue. When I was a kid, I remember he had some lizards in his tackle box. They had a bright blue tail and a black body. So we're gonna do something like that, but do our own spin on it. This is fluorescent blue from uh, Bay Plastics. Don't sneeze into this. That's all I gotta say. <laughs> and then we have this little scooper here. I'm gonna give this to you. Just take two little scoops of that and dump it in there. We're going super, super bright. Stir that up and then we'll see where it uh, comes out. Actually, just go crazy. Throw like three or four. Three more in there. See how bright we can get this. I mean, that's looking pretty good though. I kind of like the texture it's actually making. Mm -hmm. Because of degassing and mixing time, this dropped down to about two, 290, 300 degrees. So we're gonna bring that back up to temperature. Our mold is cold, our injector is cold. Just gonna grab the uh, heat gun here, put on full blast, and just heat this up for 30 seconds to take that really cold edge off the mold. And this doesn't apply as much. Like if it's summertime, these are gonna be 80, 90 degrees, but it's winter, so this is like 50 degrees. All right, so this is about 350 degrees. This is a small cavity mold. It's not like a big bulky bait. So we're gonna go ahead and shoot this. 
when you are taking your temperature, you always want to make sure to be lightly stirring. If you stop stirring and you're taking the surface temp, that's going to cool off 5 to 10 degrees. Oh, also, I forgot to tell you guys, I'm wearing my glasses because I literally stabbed my eyeball with a stick yesterday while we were doing yard work. So uh, my left eye is having a little trouble today. <laughs> All right, so he's going to suck this up now. So just put a little bit, like in a half inch of the tip in there and suck that up and then put it on here and we're going to inject. So he's going right on there and just push pressure and then when you feel a stop, hold pressure for a few seconds. That's it. That literally moved like an eighth of an inch and he's done injecting. So now pick that up, shoot the rest into there. So that was it for injecting the tail. Super, super fast process. And you didn't have to top the sprue off. The tail again is not a big bulky bait. It's not going to suck a lot of extra plastic down as it cools off and shrinks. So there will be no denting in that tail. Gonna pop the clamps off and you wanna make sure this isn't like liquid when you're taking it out. Um, but that's already cooled off, so i open that guy up. It cools off that fast? Yeah, it cools off like instantly. Oh yeah, look at that. That looks really good. I had to come around here to show you guys this. These are the tails. They turned out way awesome. And there's just four of them. They're all connected to the main sprue and you just pop them off like this, boom pop right off. Uh, a, a tip on putting these in is he's gonna put a little bit of worm oil on him and then on his fingers and then it'll help to slide the tails into place on the mold. There's the tails all put in there. If you look from the edge, you can actually tell if they're kind of popped up or not. These look really good. So we are just going to shut the mold. Again, our one clamp high and our one clamp down low. Okay. Gonna stir those, they're starting to gel up. 305. So we are gonna throw them back in. They're both 380. Gonna throw these in the degasser. Woo! Those just came out of degassing, and then we're gonna start mixing our colors. So for our back color, we are going to do just straight up black from bait plastics and we are going to do royal blue the large size of glitter which is uh, 1 16th inch in diameter there you go and then we are going to put in a couple drops like two drops at a time maybe and start mixing the black in because the black is really gonna darken that up quick yeah like that's insane already I might go a little darker maybe two more drops so now we're at a total of four drops of the black I think, yeah, that looks good. Mm -hmm. That'll be our final color for the black side. And then for the other side, we're gonna use big plastic shark skin. So that's five drops. We're gonna start mixing it. That's actually really uh, opaque. That's more opaque than I was thinking it was gonna be, but that's good. All right, so our two colors are ready. Take your temperature really quick on those to see where they're at. We're gonna bring these up to about 340 degrees. We would normally shoot 320 to 330, but since we are bonding this to that tail that we put in there, that blue tail, we want to be a little bit hotter so that it really uh, adheres or, or bonds on there. We also want it a little more liquid so that it flows around the base of the tail and grabs on properly. So we just checked the temperature on these. These are both about 340. And we're gonna use a dual injector on this. So we can shoot top bottom color at the same time. So we have two colors mixed up, dual injector, and this is a blending block or a mixing block. Basically takes two ports in and puts them out the same hole here. On our molds, you'll notice at the top, you can see that it says bottom and top. So we know the top is the top of the bait. We want the top of the bait to be black. So we're gonna line our colors up so that the black is on that side, the white is on the bottom side. Put this here, and so now all you're gonna do is suck those both up, put them on there, and I'll help you get it lined up. I'll bring it up here. So there you go, now up here, push down, a little faster. Now he's gonna hold pressure for, since we are a little hotter, for eight to 10 seconds to make sure that that plastic saw is fully pulled into those cavities as it cools and shrinks. This helps aid in that process. Pull the whole thing up and then I'll pull it, oh, I'll pull this off and then shoot the colors back. And again, that's why you wear gloves. You never know when you might get hot plastic on you. You really wanna be careful, it is no fun. I wanna show you guys what the inside of this looks like really quick. The colors come from either side and you have basically the two colors merged into one. 
So you can reuse this, reheat it up multiple times. The awesome part about this plastic is you could save all of the, the, the leftovers, we call them remounts, um, and we save them in bins. This bin is labeled 242. We know it's in here and these are all our leftover pieces. We can remount these down and reuse them later on, which is super awesome. He's clearing out the injector, putting the plugs back in there, and it's been about a minute now and I'm gonna have him demold this thing. Uh, in our molds, we always have a little slot this one's right here, so I'll let you take this. Just twist that. That cracks the mold open. Oh, holy crap, that looks awesome. <laughs> I gotta show you guys this. This is insane. Look at these baits he just made. That's the belly. That's the back. Look at that. That came out, and there's that bright blue tail. Dude, that is like, that's outstanding. I can't oh, believe it. Oh, nice. Here you go. Those are pretty nice. These, these are, I think, are the coolest lizards I've ever seen, like, in my life. And you just pull them right off the sprue, and then you have your individual lizards. Dude, that's amazing. <laughs> the way the tail, like, bonded on there is, like, perfect. These legs are really small. Do they ever, like, get caught in the mold and not come out when you... Usually they always come out um, really well out of the mold. Some things are harder to demold, like our pud and stud molds, so they can get more stuck in there, but... Generally, if you let it sit long enough, they'll pull out. And, and um, generally things like the putt and stud, you want to be using a harder plastic to begin with that's a little more like tolerable of being pulled. So there it is, guys. That was our 6.2 inch lizard bait and our new tail mold that goes along with it. These are both available on the site if you guys didn't already see that. Bait making is like so much fun and it's super cool to have my dad here and have him be able to like partake in this with me. And then maybe next time we'll go fishing. It's a little early in the year to go fishing with, uh, with a lizard bait. Maybe next time he's down, we'll go fishing and see if we can catch some bass on these. But uh, thank you guys for tuning in and checking this out. Uh, have a great day and we'll see you soon. See ya.